Well, in modern America, we no longer have blasphemy laws regarding God. But Darwinism is one of those things that is now protected against um, any kind of attack by a kind of blasphemy law system. And so, in, in the schools, Darwinism simply cannot be questioned. Evolutionists today have an absolute conniption at the very thought of both sides of the origins debate being presented in school. They want evolution alone taught, and that dogmatically. They think that it is terrible that anyone would suggest such a thing as presenting both sides. One man has said, quote, a fair result can only be obtained by fully stating and balancing the facts and arguments on both sides of each question. To present both sides of this argument is the only way, he said, to come to a fair result. Well, that's certainly contrary to what the evolutionists want to happen today. Where did I get that quote? Well, right out of this book, entitled The Origin of Species, by Charles Darwin. Millions of Americans are being lied to. It's a lie hiding as scientific fact. Could you expose the lie of evolution and reveal the truth? <laughs> to help you do that, Coral Ridge Ministries has designed an easy-to-read booklet entitled Evidence for Creation, Intelligent Answers for Open Minds by Tom DeRosa. With this booklet, you'll be equipped to give compelling answers to the most common questions about creation and evolution. Evidence for Creation, Intelligent Answers for Open Minds is yours for a gift to this ministry of any amount. And when you give, we'll also send you today's hard-hitting documentary entitled Darwin's Deadly Legacy, featuring footage not included in this broadcast. DVD includes English and Spanish tracks. We've done all the work for you. We've interviewed the experts, we've compiled the evidence, and presented it in a clear, easy-to-understand format. This video is an excellent resource for anyone you know who's unfamiliar with the little-known dark side of Darwinism and the horrific link between Hitler and evolution. To receive yours, write to Pearl Ridge Ministries, Box 40, Fort Lauderdale, Florida, 33302, or call 1-888-947-9009. Please call or write today. If one were to ask how much blood has actually been shed in the name of Darwinism, I think for most people it would be a total surprise. Because you could start off with Darwin and his little theory, and I'm sure Darwin never, never had a clue of where it would lead to. But if we were not made in the image of God, but rather in the image of man, then you could get rid of the undesirables. Well, this went along, and it certainly went along in um, America as much as Europe, where they sterilized what they called the feeble-minded. We see vestiges of social Darwinism even today, particularly among those who would say, we're better off if we don't bring children into the world when they're coming in under disadvantageous circumstances, whether that's economic, or whether perhaps they don't fit uh, in the plans of a family because you don't want to get too large. Or maybe it's not exactly the child you wanted. There may be a risk here in that child. Uh, and, I, and, and so we terminate pregnancies. And that is a form of social Darwinism. I had a, I had a child that was born with juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. And that child was a magnificent uh, human being. And I wouldn't have done without that child for anything in the world. When you have a biology teacher mentioning scientific facts, like the Cambrian explosion, he's, he's, he's out of work. Lawsuits are brought to prevent facts from being told about Darwinism because children must be baptized in the religion of Darwinism to prepare them for, for the coming belief in atheism. And ordinary people are constantly on the defensive on this separation of church and state, separation of church and state. Well, that means separation of your church and state. Their church is the state. 
Dear friend, we have had nearly 150 years of the theory of Darwinian evolution. And what has it brought us? Whether Darwin intended it or not, millions of deaths, the destruction of those deemed inferior, the devaluing of human life, increasing hopelessness. Darwin's legacy has been deadly indeed. Ironically, many of the scientific foundations on which evolution is based are crumbling, yet the ACLU and their friends on the courts make sure that there's only one view of science taught in our school, a godless one at that. The time has come to recognize that evolution is a bad idea and should be frankly discarded into the dustbin of history. Thank you for joining me today, dear friend, for this special broadcast. And may God, the creator and sustainer of all life, bless you and yours. If you would like information about Dr. Kennedy's weekly television program, The Coral Ridge Hour, or his daily radio program, Truths That Transform, log on to www.coralridge.org.